Hi, once again, Pastor Bob here from TLC Church. We have another person, if you can believe this, another person whose name begins with A. <laughs> We've had a lot of them, haven't we? His name was Asa. Do you know who Asa was? Asa was one of the kings of Judah. Yeah, and he had a long reign. It seemed like uh, the kings in, in Judah and Israel had long reign, some of them uh, 40 years. Asa was one of those that... that uh, was king for over 40 years. That's a long time. Asa was a, a strong leader. He was a great builder. He built lots of buildings in Judah. And he uh, he was a great statesman. That means he cared for the people. And uh, he was a good military leader. So uh, he won many battles. During most of his long reign, Judah enjoyed really a great prosperity. And uh, things really were going well. He tried to bring about a lot of social changes in Judah, and he was a good king for a long time. And then things went kind of bad. He started to hire protection. He went to the Syrian king, Ben-Hadad, and was buying protection from him when Israel, you know, we have to kind of straighten things out here. Israel was the northern kingdom and Judah was the southern kingdom and Asa was the king of the southern kingdom. And Israel, the northern kingdom, was attacking uh, his kingdom, Judah. So instead of depending upon God to protect him, he, he, he bought protection from Syria, from, from Ben-Hadad. And he paid for that protection with gold and silver from the temple. That was a big no-no in God's eyes and in the people's eyes. Asa was confronted one day by a prophet whose name was Hanani. Hanani. And uh, he had Hanani thrown in jail. <laughs> wow, he didn't like what Hanani was telling him. Well, he also began to oppress the people. You know, he would charge taxes and he would throw many of them in jail and he would, he, he just started to oppressing his own people. He finally, God has such a, a, a way of bringing justice to people, something that I would have never thought of. Asa got a foot disease, a foot disease. And instead of turning to God again and asking God to heal him, he went to the doctor's. In, his, in Judah, and, and maybe in other countries, I don't know. But anyway, he went to several doctors, and of course, they didn't do anything for him. They probably, some of them may have been witch doctors, who knows, that kind of thing. But anyway, he suffered with this disease for two years. Then he finally died. Hmm. He was buried in Jerusalem. You know, it's a sad thing when kings and other people, as they get older, turn away from God. They turn away from God and they suffer. They suffer such great loss when they do that. His story, that is Asa's story, is told in 1 Kings chapter, chapters 15 and 16 and also in 2 Chronicles 14 through 17. Very interesting reading uh, if you have a chance. But it's most important for us to remain true to God all through our lives. As we get older, we need to depend more upon him and, and let other people know that we, that we serve a God who, whom we have trusted all of our lives. Let's pray that we'll be able to do that. Father, we just thank you that today, even, even in our old age, we can depend upon you and we can ask you to to help us in our time of need. In Jesus' name, amen.